waiting. It's 20 past 2 in the morning. 20 past 2, 20 past 8. Um, breakfast started at 8 and finishes at 9. Oh, I'm so tired. Didn't get much sleep last night. Busy day ahead of me, so I'll film what I can. Uh, so we are no, I never thought that, but it's still being done for the giant room. It's like there's a cookie jar. It was an event. It's yeah. Did you where all the nuts and stuff are. This is Irish grip. Bunch of us. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty interesting. And this is our toolkit. You get a cool pen that has a USB. It basically tells you everything that you need to know. Oh, that's M again. Feeling awake when everyone else is like a zombie. But to be fair, you went home last night. We all stayed in the hotel. That's it's not cheating. It is cheating. Shut up. Are you wearing cat ears? I am wearing cat ears. That's the best thing I've seen this morning. Where's the toilet? She's wearing cat ears. When you come in, you see them. Uh, so today, today, we are doing, uh, if I can get my badge, uh, peer, ed peer education first, then social media, then project planet. So it should be fun. Yep. I sit here now. So number one A, we have a lady with a quite a, a good looking bob there. Who who do we have? Lily Allen. Lily Allen? That's Lily Allen. Lily oh, Allen, yeah, that's correct. And does anybody know the social mm. network they used to get started? I'm gonna say YouTube. Twitter. MySpace. Mm -hmm. So MySpace is what made Lily Allen explode into popularity and now she is no, Pretty popular. I don't you like her music, but she's making a lot of money, so <laughs> bear in mind. Here we have an artist called Sammy, and she is drawing me. I think it's pretty accurate. Yeah, look, pretty she's accurate. got her phone. Pretty accurate. And here's me. No, I'm not drawing okay, me. Can I take just, just, Gwen. just. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Love, Love you, babes. Yeah, that's what I thought. Just move your arm over to there. So, yes. I know your phone's blue, but in this Please. world, green is blue. So just like my hair. Yeah. Okay. There was a blue pen at this table, what did I do? <laughs> okay. I improvised. <laughs> I missed out on the last on the last group. Can you do photography at your scale? So well, this is the third. Uh, so I missed out on the uh, the project planning. I missed um, on filming, filming that. Now we're in the, where am I? There we are. Peer education. That's quite cool. Like, um, can you do like higher photography? This is my grip yeah, for this table. And uh, I think, I think it's some to of do with most of these drawings. Oh, hello, She's you're making vlogging. a video. Are you vlogging? Yes. Vlogging. I am a vlogger. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Oh, go away, Emma. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to sell anything because I'm not even going to sell This is Melissa, <laughs> Sammy, <laughs> Glenn, and you all know Emma. Put a link and this to is the lovely Facebook. Melissa. She's lovely. Put a link to appear on like, Facebook. Uh, would you like to announce yourselves? <laughs> I'm Sammy. I look like a man. Oh. I meant appear invisible. <laughs> We're a band. <laughs> and uh, we play music. Our band. Bracelet. And, he's not here. and they have a drummer. We have bracelets and a drummer who isn't here because he has a girlfriend. What does he have? And this is the task. But yes, their band is called Appear Emma, Invisible. Stop vlogging, okay? No, vlogging's amazing. This is the amazing staff. Emma's horrible writing. I'm scared to video That's them in case you they punch gift, me. You're gifted, okay? If you saw my handwriting, it looks like a I'm going to go eat Haribo. Like, just one more minute, everybody. We're back in the room doing, doing our... Oh, that's disgusting, Liam. <laughs> Liam's eating Play-Doh. Yeah, we're back in the room discussing what we're going to do for our event. We're going to doing like a charity event. Charity <laughs> event and this is Sammy's gorgeous face. I'm not gonna cry, it's okay. So yes, I haven't really seen you haven't really seen me much in this video, but yes. So I'm gonna be speaking. <laughs> the chicken played about me. Oh man, I'm gonna check this out. But yeah. <laughs> um 
basically I'm going to be speaking um, for my group about our charity event and our workshops and then yeah and I'm also going to be part of a video which is going up on their website so when that goes up I'll put a link in whatever video that is so I'm going to go back to planning industry who, well, that are ready to answer questions all about the music industry. And first to interrogate, I've got on the fly is Jess Abr Ab Abrams. 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 <laughs> Jess is a professional music, uh, professional musician at gigs and tours, as well as a community musician working closely with young people who are at risk. She's also a lecturer at Edinburgh College in music, uh, community music and in creative industry business. Um, we also have uh, David Whitney. Um, he is he is the musical director for The Wanted and before that uh, for Mika and Saturdays. He has also worked with the likes of Take That, Annie Lennox, Cage Tunstall, Shania Twain and many more. Um, over, the over 12 years he's travelled the world, world um, touring as a keyboard player and then as a musical director overseeing live performances on the biggest stage in the industry. Um, I've also got, in the fine red, sorry, uh, I've got Nikki Klopney Carter. Uh, Nikki started her career in music as a musician playing and gigging uh, on the local circuit. Uh, since then, she has uh, run her own regular music shows, cases. Uh, she has also managed bands, represented shows, been stage manager at festivals, worked in music conferences, and is now a full time manager, uh, live manager, at uh, Edinburgh's top venue, Electric Circuit. Nikki has also worked with The Vaccines, Ben Howard, the uh, Churches, and Bell and Sebastian. We also have Bart Liska. Oh, yeah. Is yeah. that right? Yes, yes, yes. Um, he runs a weekly night in Sneaky Pete's in Edinburgh. Uh, for 12 years, he, uh, he has been DJing and producing various genres of music. And he is now signed to the New York label Travel and Bass. Right, everyone's Sorry, I was just going to say, can we give him a round of applause? <laughs> so as you're talking about, you're talking about the bass player came into your life that kind of helped you. Um, for anyone else, was there really anyone who helped you on your way in your music career? Me or everyone? It, just everyone. Like, everyone. <laughs> anyone. I think you'd be kidding yourself if you think you can do it by yourself because it's almost like you meet so many people all the time and, you know, one of those little connections turns into something else and you can't, you can't just be really, really good at what you do and you expect to do something. Everyone helps, everyone else get there, whether or not it's telling one person this or going to see your gig or, yeah, it's not, I don't think it's great to even just pinpoint one person, you know, like, you never know, you know, you might meet somebody that you make friends with somewhere and then, you know, two years later they might be like, I've got this band, do you want to work with this band? That band might do really well and you're there for associating. It just you have to just constantly build your network of people you know and as I say like don't put everything into one person. Well I guess it all as well it works the same with um, promotion, promoting uh, a gig is not only playing. Even if you're um, a promoter of a night you still need to go out to others nights and other people nights and say, Oh, you know, uh, I'm here so maybe you can come to my night and yeah. It's, it's about um, so much of this is about being a really cool person. It's, it's, I am, I'm, I'm the world's most average keyboard player, and if anybody plays keyboard in this room, you're better than me by far. It's, and I'm not actually that killer person either, so I don't know how it happened, but, um, but it's, it's, it's about being nice, it's about treating the people right. And I, I think everybody gets a step up. I got, um, I went, it took me a long time to have the guts to go to London, and that's one of my biggest regrets in life. I just didn't go and do it early enough, because that's where the market was. Um, I'm hoping it's changing now because Edinburgh is really getting its a foothold in Scotland, Scotland generally. I, I went down and met a gentleman called Mike Stevens and he was the musical director for Take That and Annie Lennox and stuff. So I was so lucky in that I got this, you know, I just ended up in the lap of this person um, and then it led to so much, so many more things. Um, but I did find halfway through that process when Mikey stopped using me because you become flavour of the month and you stop being. I then didn't have anybody else, like you said. You, you, have to, you have to treat people around you really, really well, with respect, 
and don't expect everything just to sit to, to fall in your lap. Go. Well, he's not tracking Play-Doh anymore, so oh. you kind of missed it, didn't you? Oh, oh, stop it! There's a Play-Doh <laughs> frame in the middle of the Stop! Baby! Stop! 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 Stop the Play-Doh Wars! Oh, save me! No, no. <laughs> Everyone's joining in on the Play-Doh Wars. That's the first thing I've ever chucked at someone. <laughs> <laughs>